If you're looking for a sweet device to keep that pool monitored all summer long, well, we've got you covered. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Echo Start by IO Pool and let you guys know what we think. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Good Tech Cheap. Starting out, if you're new to the show, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on if you'd like to receive notifications. Today's episode is brought to you by IOPool. We have the Echo Start we're going to be taking a look at. Keep in mind, all the links and details to this device is located in the description. So make sure to check that out. So the Echo will monitor your pool and give you readouts. So. That is sweet because you can always keep up with your pool details and know what chemicals to put in and what to take out, etc. So yes, this is going to be awesome. We're going to get it out of the box, so let's go. So we got some paperwork, we have a little scooper, we have our test strips, then we have our smart devices. So let's get these out of the box and see what all we get. like a remote right here an antenna to go on to it a power supply with a USB port a USB to USB-C cable a suction cup some 3M adhesive and some mounting screws a little clip then and this let's get a knife we have the testing device that is wrapped in plastic let's get that out our friends over at Isle Pool also informed us that sometimes when you take the bottom off of the probe, you have some crystallized salt buildup, which is completely normal, and it's from the chemical properties that are used to make the sensors. So if a little bit of water or crystallization comes out just like this one, it's completely normal. The unit has not been used. It is just a part of the process. So this is what we get out of the box right on top. We're going to get all this together, charge it up, and go use it on the pool. So let's go check it out. Starting out, you pull the cord to remove the ballast, and then remove the insulating film, which we already have. Then you can take the cap off, then you flip the cap so the probes will be aligned together with holes from the cap. You should be able to see the sensors through the cap if you have it properly placed. From there, you just drop the echo into the water and start getting your readings. Make sure that you use the test stripping. This will give you a jump start on the proper balance of everything in your pool from pH to the chlorine chemicals. And there you can confirm with the app where all of your settings are starting out. This will help you make sure you're more accurate with your readings as well as making the proper adjustments while getting started with the Echo. Once calibrated, all your readings are set up and it will start telling you what to adjust to get your pool properly calibrated for all of that summer fun. Then from there, you can check out the app and it gives you disinfectional potentials, your pH value, water temperatures, as well as you also have a shop where you can directly get the chemicals and supplies for your pool through the IO Pool app. Now that's pretty cool. And of course, with the really cool Wi-Fi gateway, you can get your pool data wherever you are, automatically syncing up to your Wi-Fi network, allowing the gateway to transmit the data to the app even when you're not at home all wirelessly through your home Wi-Fi. So if you're out on the market to make sure that your pH balance is definitely taken care of, as well as the balance of other chemicals in your pool for this summertime fun, I would highly recommend you to check out the Echo Start, as well as the Gateway if you plan to check your pool data while you're not at home. 
Well, that about wraps it up for today's episode. If you're interested in checking out the Echo Start for yourself, make sure to get down in the description. All the links and details are there. We'd also like to give IOPool a huge shout out for partnering up with us so we could give you this review. So if you found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button. Get in the comments and let us know what your thoughts are on this device. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. That wraps it up for this one. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next review.